Hey, I'm just Vosco and we're back in Software Inc. Now, I've been having an idea. We've got this entire empty building over here. Empty, 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 empty. Uh, servers down below, which have to stay there. But I'm thinking we could have... A... Wait, what is that connected to? Is that connected to this... this building here? So this one, I'm thinking, can go. Which will open the downstairs up into printing and distribution. That's what I'm thinking. So we can have parking here for our... Yeah, do you know what? Let's go with that. Let's get... Let's just select the entire building. Oh no, it's going to select that as well. Okay, don't do that. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's just go... That room... Delete. That room, delete... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's going. We're ripping down this building. We're preparing for printing our own products. But there is something I want to do first. Because portings become quite a big... Look where I love how the grass wears down where they walk across it. We definitely need to look it up. But printings, uh, portings become a big issue. And I'm thinking we've got all these offices here. So we could just have... A porting team that are specifically for porting so if I grab that office and that office and that office and that office and then we go oh no we need to create a team first let's create a team first so we've got a new team we're gonna call it porting there we go that's their job and okay and your job is to port now, what colour do we want? How about... I don't know, what colour haven't we had? Have we got a yellow yet? I don't think we do. Let's have a yellow. We need to hire a manager. So let's go and do that. That's the wrong button. Uh, hire employees. Lead, HR, hi, yep. Go for it. Skill, we're going to go for top skill level. Um... Oh, oh, you're good. Let's hire you. You're going to go into porting. Lovely. We're going to hire you. You can do HR and, and hire people. That's brilliant. Okay, so let's go to the team. We're going to go manage roles and you are our new team leader. Then we're going to go HR management. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to go handle wages. I'm going to give you a budget of 500,000. Should be plenty. Like so. We're going to go education level three. Education amount at any one time. You can have two people. How about that? Um, I presume it's just programmers we need for porting. I don't actually know. Wait, let's go to... I don't know. Let's have a look. If I go services, support marketing and law. Yeah, see? So I think it's just programmers. That's what I'm going to go with anyway. So we're going to go programmers. How many have we got? Right, what floor are we on? Where did we put them? Well, we could... Oh, we didn't make a team, did we? Where do we want to put them? We could put them on the top floor. I quite like the idea of them being on one of these floors. So maybe we'll go that floor because this floor is going to be for distribution. So yeah, we'll go this floor. We're going to choose that office, that office, and that office, and that office. And we're going to go... Oh, wait. Did that not work? That room, that room, that room, and that room. And we're going to go change team, and we're going to say, you are now the porting teams. Okay. We're probably... What do you mean empty? No, no, not empty. Take empty off. Thank you. There we go. We are... Do you know what? We could get rid of this office here. We could do that, do that, and then go merge rooms. Like so. Why are you in red? 
Limit room usage. Anyone. I don't understand why you've gone red. Okay, let's take the team off of that room. Then we're going to... We're going to put more desks in here. Because we can. Like so. Can I move you somewhere else, please? Because you are now in my way. Um, we could open this entire room up, really. No, no, I'm not going to get complicated. We're going to put that out in the hallway, I think. So we'll put that out here. So people can go out there to have it. You, we're going to duplicate and bring you... No, down. Down, please. Press the right button. There we go. Lovely. That light there doesn't like being there. So we'll move that to there. And I think that's probably it. Yes. Okay. And now if I select this room and make it part of the porting team. Are you going to be nice about it? Yes. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So let's go and select those. Oh, no, that's not going to work. 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. So you can have 28 programmers. You are going to be specialization. We'll turn all off. You can do all of the development stuff. How about that? Is that good? I think that's good. And then we're going to go, that's it. Uh, salary can be, I just go high. I don't care really, just make it happen. So now we should go to here and Portin should hire people. Yes, yes they did. Lovely, great. Um, temperature things overburdened. Why are you overburdened? I suppose that is a tiny little air conditioning unit. Hmm. Do you know what? Let's select all of those while we're here. And then we'll replace them for modern computers. 2000. What are we in it? 96. So we could go laptop. There we go. You can use your laptops. Why not? Select all of those. Replace for laptops. Okay. And then finally, replace that one with laptops. Lovely. Okay. This room we can just... Oh, I might keep that room. We, we're going to empty this room. We know that much. So we're going to... I wish there was an easy way of doing this. Wait, if I go select all and then delete. Ah, that works. Okay, we're just going to empty these rooms out. We're going to go select all. Nope, that wasn't select all, was it? Select all, delete. Just getting rid of the computer desks. So they're not actually using the air conditioning system. And that might help situations. Select all and delete. And select and delete. So you're porting, you're porting. I'm going to keep upstairs for expansion. That is something we possibly are going to need. We're going to go down here and deal with... So we're going to assign. Let's take everyone off. So you don't have to deal with it anymore. We have a team to do that. We might actually have to take on that office as well. Because this might be a bit slow. So, if I go assign, put porting on, turn everyone else off. Like, no, none, porting. Thank you. So you're done. You're, I'm going to unpause all of them and see how they get on. So we're going to assign, none, put porting on, lovely, and um, like so. I'm going to press play a minute. And then we're going to go down to the last one. We're going to assign none and then put porting on. And unpause. And let's see how they get on with four projects. They should come in the next day. Keep an eye on our money. Let's see how much we make at the end of the day. Support's doing okay for the Lost World of Ebo, I think. We've got 376,000 active users. And we've only missed 249 tickets. So it's doing very well. Oh, we can't keep up with support for Journey to Bamba 2. 
which I have no idea where that is. Your, can I end some of these? 46,000, 61,000, 12,000. Yeah, where's my support for that then? Let's go next day. How much did we make? 17 million. We made 28 million in sales. And then obviously all our expenses went out. Which is always fun, but we are making a good profit. Now, your journey to Bamba, Lost World of Eba 1, Lost World of Eba 2. So maybe we should end support. No, that's got 61,000 users. I can't end support on it yet. I might end support on the journey to Bamba. Because there's only 12,000 users. We may have upset them. 61,000, 46,000, 149,000, 149,000. 524,000 people are using our operating system. That is beautiful. Right, now our porting team should come in. Have we got enough car parking? I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm going to say no big style. Okay, so we need to we need to edit this again. Huh. Do I want that to be bigger? Or should we just go over to here, which might be a better idea? So let's go to car parks. We're going to get a slope up. Wait, I need to be down here. And the slope's going to be going... Wait, is the arrow saying where we're coming in? Or which way direction the slope's going? I'm going to say which direction the slope's going. Yes, that's correct. Lovely. So now we can get a piece of road in. Can I not put... Ah, oh, we got to go there. So a piece of road there. Like that. And then another ramp. So we'll do like a... Quite a large... And then here we can have parking, right? Yes. Lovely. So that can come round there. And then we can have another bit of road here. And then we'll have more parking. So that should be plenty of parking at the moment. We've got a new multi-story car park, which is actually almost bigger than the original building. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look what's going on. Where are my porting teams? They're in, they're working, things are happening. I was going along lovely. Really nice. Yeah, porting's working well. That's good. Uh, we are on the third iteration of Silent Base 97. So I'm going to put that forward in development. Because I do think two iterations is enough to start with. You've reached Alpha but haven't got any fans yet. So that's fine. We haven't given it a release date. So it's pointless trying to get fans. Uh, you don't like so-and-so. I don't care. Your employees can't keep up with support for Journey to Bamba 2. Where is this support? <laughs> Like, I don't know. Um, can we look at just support? So, jour Journey to Bamba. Lost World. No, just put them all on now. Because it's clearly not there. Let's go to here. We're going to go Journey to Bamba. Can we do support for that? Or are we doing support? We are doing support. There's just too many active users, clearly. We are going to have to look at expanding our support team, I think. I thought that would be plenty, but clearly not. Which is a bit annoying. You're going to ruin my building. Huh. Yeah, we'll leave that for off camera. You don't want to see me mess around expanding that because I still want to keep the same look on top. I like the look of the top of that building. Uh, this building doesn't have a top as we know and this building's quite boring and eventually I do want to do one mega office and I'm looking at this piece of land which is just huge. That would be ideal for what we need. That's one of the biggest plots of land right? Yeah it looks like it. 
So yeah, I think we're going to buy that at some point. But for now, let's let's sort of plan out because porting's going okay. You have furniture the staff are unable to reach. Why can't they reach the top? Is that because the sink's in the way? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Fine. Um, what if we move the toilet? Rotate the toilet that way. No? Okay. How about we move the plant <laughs> somewhere? How about out here? There we go. And then we're going to grab the toilet. We're going to rotate it so it faces that way. And it doesn't like that. What if we go on this wall? The toilet rolls miles away, but that should fix the issue. Okay, eight employees have caught in sick. Well, that's what's going to happen. Let's be fair. When we're employing as many people as we are, people are going to call in sick. How's Portin doing, people? Really well, actually. You're, you're getting there. Lost World of Eber 2 is going to start seeing sales again with all this porting, right? How's our, our um, automated teams doing? Next release for you is Lost World of Eber 3. Then we've got Interface 9. Journey to Bamba 3. And then obviously our 2D one. So it would be nice to get even more sort of automated. Where's the building we were going to work on? Over here. So let's get to daylight and then we'll start. Actually, it doesn't matter because if we go into building, we can put daylight up down here, which is a lovely little touch. So we want to get rid of all of this, right? Let's go merge rooms. That sort of worked. Let's try again. Uh, no. That one. Merge rooms. Lovely. Grab. I wish I... How do I grab everything? How do I empty the room? Sell furniture. Wait. If I click on the room. Destroy structure. No, just... Select employees. Select floor. Select furniture types. Ah, and then delete. Lovely. That works really nice. Okay. So now we need to look at distribution, which has gone mad in this game. You've got an entire entire conveyor belt system, which is amazing. Okay, so garage port. These, I'm going to say, are important, right? So let's get rid of that. We are going to get a garage port... I'm going to say three, just in case. And then we can add some car parking, right? So our couriers can actually park. Oh, you would be in the wrong place, wouldn't you? <laughs> Why can't I just put... I suppose we could just go here. This is courier parking. That's not the most awkward car parking ever, is it? You, 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 and you, we are going to assign select people parked here. No. Select adjacent parking spot, assign parking space to deliveries. There we go. Perfect. So you can only be delivery. We're going to get some path. And we're going to go all the way along here like that. Perfect. Do you want to do that? Excellent. We're going to go along here. To there. Perfect. No, go on. Do it. You can... Wait, I have to get that. Blue line to blue line. Double click. Done. We're also going to go... From here. That way. See, why? Why are you snapping there? That doesn't make sense. Fine, we'll just do it the long way round, because that's easier, clearly. Oh, wait, I can go there to there, right? Okay, that's weird. But we'll go with it. Right, and then in here, we're going to need... What have we got? Printer... 
Component assembler. Component recycler. Printer. And small printer. So we've got small printer, medium printer, and large printer. Large printer is not available. We're going to need conveyor belts. Conveyor belt and wall... Uh, ceiling mounted to conveyor belt. No, we don't need ceiling mounted. It's fine. So, if we rotate you around, I'm, gonna, I'm learning this as I go. So, let's see how this works. You are going to go... Oh, messed up already. Rotate. Oh, hello. There we go. You're going to go this way. To there. Oh, that's good, actually, because then we can do a T-junction. Is that a thing I can do? What is that? Wall-mounted... Wall-mounted? How does that work, then? You have to place this up against a wall. Okay. Well, what, what do I use to rotate it? Or does it snap automatically? Okay, I'm putting it up against the wall. No, oh, oh, oh! So you can go through rooms. Oh, that's nice. I don't want it, but it's nice. Okay, so we can put some. Let's put some printers on. We're going to go medium printer, there, there, and there. We are going to get some pallets because you can store on pallets still. So if I go here and here and then as it prints the products if they're not needed they'll get put onto the pallets so this one is what this is a pallet drop off point so do i have to rotate that i presume yes so you drop off there and you're going to drop off there and then we have a pallet pickup point which is that one so again we'll rotate it so it's on that side so now it'll drop off or pick up if it needs it. Perfect. Lovely. Now I want you to go both directions, but that's not going to happen, right? No. Can I not feed to both of those? Clearly not. So ultimately you're going to go this way to there, and then we're going to rotate you the opposite way to what you want to go. There we go. Lovely. And then you're going to go to there. And ultimately, that is a basic setup, right? Conveyor splitter. Ah, there we go, look. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I like the fact you can colour these. Let's move you to there. No, you're facing the wrong way, aren't you? Wait, rotate you round to there. We're going to put you there. We're going to put a conveyor splitter. What does the arrow mean? That. Yep, that's split in it. That's good. And now we can go along to there. So we'll have another conveyor belt splitter there. Like so. You're going that direction. You're going that direction. And then we can have. Ooh, wait there, because they're not all going to feed onto here, are they? Yeah, that's fine. We'll go this way. Like that. This is a dead end. But well, no, it goes into the splitter, surely. Oh! Oh, I get it now. I get it. Wait, let's delete that and that and that. So blue is the input, and then you can only come out in those three different sections, right? Okay, so if I grab this one and go there, for example, and then duplicate it to there, that will work. Can I also go that way then? And it won't link up, right? Yes, look at that. There we go. Perfect. And that's going in there. So now we can actually print our own products. Very basically, but we can print them. I do think we're probably going to need more storage. So maybe... 
How would we do this? If you're going into there, you could go in right there, but then we'd need a pickup from somewhere, right? Which could go... <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a good basic setup. I do think we need more storage and splitting areas and printers, which we can add as we go. Let's see how we get on with that. We probably want some security, but it'll be okay for the time. It'll be fine for the time being. What's wrong with you? This room is not accessible from the outside. Why is it not accessible? There's a Because they can't cross over the conveyor belts. And they couldn't possibly walk through this giant hole there. Huh. We probably don't need these in here. So if I just grab the room and delete it. No, oh no, no, don't delete it. Don't, oh, I've delete, oh, there we go. That one, that one, and that one, we are going to, wait, big one first, then that one, and that one. And I've picked up the toilet. That room and that room, and merge. And then we're just gonna get rid of the toilets like so. Lovely, okay. So I really want to test this out now. Let's go back to live mode. How much can you print? Effective, used by nobody. Hmm. So we could print our own. Are we running out of products of any type yet? It doesn't help that I buy so many of them in stock. Oh, you. What are you? Oh, you're not actually selling that many. Journey to Bamba. Journey to Bamba is actually not even being supported anymore. Because we got the new Journey to Bamba, right? Which is down here for support. There we go. We do have support for it. Okay. Temperature regulator is overburdened. Why? There's less in here than there was. Have I deleted... Oh, because you were using the air conditioning unit in there, right? That would make sense. Hmm. But I've taken all the computers out. That room, that room set up. Okay, we'll find another way of getting one in. Bear with me. Somehow, we will find a way. Air conditioning. We can have wall ones, right? They're not as good though, are they? That stairs going up into here, right? So what if we select this room and this room and then merge them together? And then we can get rid of that doorway there. And of course the emergency stairs is going to come past the air conditioning units. And why not? That's what I say. Can you go in here? Or is that light in the way? I don't mind getting rid of the light. There we go. Perfect. Now, why why would you not be able to fit in there? The base of this thing is tiny. That's what I don't get. Oh, okay, we're going to move the sprinkler to the top of the stairs. We're going to get rid of that sprinkler. We're going to get rid of... Do I need to get rid of the fire alarm? Yeah, because there's one there, so we don't need that. Okay, let's put daylight up so we can actually see what we're doing. The air conditioning units are a bit annoying. Because yes, they're big up on, on the roof, but they're not actually big in, in here. Like, why would this not fit in this? Oh, 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 wait, if I do it, because oh, you're going to need to be able to access it for some reason. Oh, there. Perfect. Hopefully that fixes the problem. Because there was only one on this building, I'm sure. So that should be fine. Let's get rid of that warning. And then if it pops up again, we can uh, keep an eye on it. Okay, so you're in... You need to be... Wait, no, no, no. Don't go up. No, go back down there. Support needs to stay together. But you do need to go into development. Because you've done your second iteration. Low poly giant has reached, yes it has, because I've just put it there. How much money are we making? 20 million, wow. 
That's so good. Portin. Portin's getting on fine. Support got a lot on their plate. 28,000. I can see why they're struggling. Oh, 6,000. No. Wait. 639,000. Jesus. <laughs> wow. That's a lot. They're really taking their time porting Silent Base 94. Which isn't actually selling anymore. So surely we can end support for that. Although there are still active users who's going to find bugs. We need to fix that situation. In the next episode, we are going to start printing our own product. Because I just need to actually have a reason to. Because at the minute, we're, we've printed a lot. We sort of bought it pre-printed. Portin's doing well. I would like to get some more teams automized so I don't have to worry about them. And then we can start expanding Big Star. I'm thinking this giant office block here. And my thinking is we'll have an entire floor and then the next floor up will step along. So you'll end up with like a grass balcony area. Uh, yes, except all enclosed. And then we'll go up again. Oh, does not meet demand. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. Lost World of Eba 2 does not meet demand. So. Wait, this is going to be a long video. But Lost World of Eba 2. You have none in stock. So we can actually start printing. Enter the limit for how many copies you'd like. I'd like. I would like a million copies. To have in stock before Paul's in the job. Okay. That's happening. That's good. Now we're going to need to hire people as well, right? We're going to need to hire courier people. So, let's go hire couriers. We've hired quite a few because I don't actually know how many we're going to need. You can come in at 12. You can come in at 12. You can come in at... Oh no, yeah, you can come in till 12. You're going to come in at 12 and take over. And then you guys are going to come in at 1600 hours and take over from them. And I think that's good. Let's just press play. Let's see what happens. We should start seeing printing happening. I have realized there's no lights in here, right? Uh-huh. Oh well. This is actually working, so that's good. Are the printers working? Are you printing? You don't seem to be printing. Do I have to tell you to print? No. But. Wait. But we should be printing. It says we were printing. Start printing. Cancel. I don't know. I'm going to figure this out before the next episode and we'll have a look at it properly. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It really does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.